i think you people got some idea after this what i will do um, i will show some reactive power compensation uh, things here for that i took one example from that uh, duncan glover book only uh, second chapter uh, example problem see this is also two bus system in which uh, if you observe here uh, two buses are there one uh, generator is connected at bus 1 and one load is connected at bus 2 and one switched sent is connected at what can i say uh, bus 2 so here the thing is you people observe the thing here this green green uh, color arrows indicates real power flow this blue color arrows indicates reactive power flow so after running you people carefully observe see go to this tools and click on this green button see if you observe here uh, now uh, active power is flowing from this generator bus to load uh, also reactive power also flowing from this generator bus to load now at starting this what can i say capacitor bank is nothing it's uh, zero kvr it's not, not supplying any k uh, reactive power to system after that what i will do i will slowly increase this reactive power limit see for each step it's increasing 20 kvr see now previously this uh, blue arrow size uh, is big bigger means more uh, uh, reactive power generation from uh, generator but whenever this uh, re uh, reactive power generation from this switched sent is uh, getting increased then this size will reduce means uh, reactive power is flowing from this to this uh, and this reactive power flow is reducing see now you carefully observe these arrows blue blue arrows mainly if i increase again this see this arrow size got reduced means uh, reactive power generation from generator got reduced why because uh, reactive power is supplying from this switched capacitor so this uh, capacitor supplying reactive power to load and if i increase some more now this arrow size is uh, reduced means less reactive power is generating from this what can i say uh, generator and if i increase the size again see now what hap what happened uh, required amount of reactive power is flowing to this load and the remaining reactive power is flowing back to generator so this is the thing uh, that's why uh, between 60 and 80 means some somewhere around 70 like that uh, required capacitor uh, uh, capacitor is supplying total required uh, reactive power for load means no need of generator at somewhere around 60 and 70 uh, 65 and 70 kvr uh, we are uh, what can i say making reactive power balance so this is the thing so this example i will show clearly by taking one more example uh, and go to this example i will open that duncan glover textbook see this problem mm. Hmm. See this problem in power world simulator case problem 232, a 8 megawatt and 4 MVR load is supplied at 13.8 kV through a feeder with an impedance of 1 plus J2 uh, with an impedance of 1 plus J2 and 13.8 kV, uh, KV, kV bus uh, and load is 8 megawatt and 4 MVR. So if you observe here 8 megawatt and 4 MVR. The load is compensated with a capacitor whose output uh, omega capacitor. See, this capacitor capa uh, reactive power is omega capacitor can be varied in 0.5 MVR steps between 0 and 10 MVR. So, uh, this capacitor value reactive power we can vary from 0 to 10 in the steps of 0 0.5 MVR 
and we have to find what value of omega capacitor minimizes the reactive power uh, real power line loss and what value of uh, omega capacitor minimizes the mva power flow into the feeder so we have to find how much uh, reactive power uh, we can supply from this capacitor so that this feeder loss will be minimum for that i will what can i say i will go to this example problem see here while running uh, this simulation you people has to observe this feeder loss uh, at, uh, it, uh, up to certain time it will uh, reduce uh, at one particular value of increasing this capacitor reactive power this become minimum after that it will again increase so for that uh let me go to tools and run this see now you people observe uh feeder loss is 0.42 now what i will do i will increase this uh mvr limit see 0.5 increase it become 0.400 and observe this blue blue arrows uh this size become reducing uh and again what i will do i will increase the uh, mvr limit now it become 0.383 and this blue arrow size also got reduced and again 1.5 now it become 0.369 and arrow size become reduced you people observe simultaneously this and this uh, if i increase 2 then it again reduced 0.357 if i increase 2.5 and again it got reduced 0.348 if i increase uh, 3 then it become 0.34 so it's reducing if i increase 3.5 then it become 337 0.337 now you people observe carefully now, if I increase uh, to 4 mega MVR, then it becomes 0.336. See, up to this time, it's, this feeder loss is getting reduced. Now, if I increase to 4.5, what happens? This feeder loss is getting increased, not reducing. So, minimum uh, feeder losses we are getting at what 4 MVR uh, capacitor reactive power, we are getting this feeder losses as minimum. And you observe here this what can i say uh, this reactive power arrows means this blue arrows almost minimum means almost uh, negligible uh, whenever i am increasing this what can i say to 4.5 see size become increased this uh, blue arrows so this thing so what we are doing in this example we are making uh, reactive power compensation for this uh, system so that uh, we can we are minimizing the feeder losses and such that the reactive flow also uh, reducing from generating to generator to load.